Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today is an updated version of our Fan Home subscription package. Together we'll be seeing exactly where we're at in terms of the RGT2 build, and overall it's been a quite pleasurable experience. So let's go ahead and take a look. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and continue our build here. So we do have our right leg previously built as well as our LED display. And this here is our second box. So we have issue number three, issue number four, issue number five, issue number six. We have our work cut out for us. So we have a few different things that we'll be building today. Alright, so we have all these different pieces and kits. This is, looks so, so exciting. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this magazine. So. All right, so we have a lot of different things in here. Let's talk about building the galaxy, control, sorry, motion control filming, more about the innovation, droid directory. <laughs> Look at all these pictures. This is actually, they put a lot of thought into this. Let's go ahead and continue this stage here and uh, continue building our robot. Here's everything that we completely built for this particular unit. So we have more details for our right leg. Uh, we have more details for our processing unit, as well as lens caps and other variations of pieces here. So that is that. Uh, we have ourselves issue number four. So this is gonna be connecting up the processor state indicator, which is this guy right over here. So looking at this particular magazine, uh, we have filming R2D2 part one. Um, Droid directory, uh, protocols, case study, image sensors. Talk a little more terms of how R2D2 kind of functions. So we're going to be going ahead and extending the right leg and powering up his LED panel. All right, so for our issue number four, uh, we went ahead and connected our processor state indicator. So there's an on off switch right over here. So you have red and blue, and if you press both together, it kind of gives you a mixture of the two colors. So this will come in handy with our particular R2D2. All right, let's gonna move on and build ourselves uh, issue number five, which is fitting the central head bearing. So we went ahead and started off the uh, chassis for our R2-T2 head. Uh, so you go ahead and inserted a bearing, and then we're continuing on adding our attachments or the skeleton frame of the particular robot. All right, so the next thing we'll be doing is building that diagnostic display. Uh, so it was pretty simple, but you do can go ahead and test it. Uh, so if you can see right here, if I hold this button right here, you can see it on this display screen. So this is testing the diagnostic display and everything works perfectly. So that is actually a cool piece. I'm excited to see how it all plays out. And that concludes our build for today. So there you guys have it. So thank you again for joining us on this series of building our R2G2. Now I'm really excited to see how this all plays out. Again, uh, I would highly recommend making sure that you keep everything together as we do have extra screws that we'll be using going forward. Uh, and then make sure that you have both three AA batteries as well as uh, super glue too. Now with that said, thank you again for watching and we'll see you guys next time at our next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.